The Last Airbender live-action series is out on Netflix to bend your mind with its brilliant cast. My and stunning CGI. With visual effects, I can't even remember where I was. <laughs> but the actors didn't only work in the series, they also had a lot of fun. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see all the jokes and behind the scenes details right now. I was bald, I had an arrow on my head and I looked like Winnie the Pooh. When the Avatar actors auditioned, they had no idea what roles they were trying out for. It was all top secret. And they only found everything out after getting their parts. For the Aang actor, it was pretty baffling. We searched the whole world and then we found you and I was really confused because I had no clue what's going on. I was like, huh? <laughs> But gradually, the young man realized what it all meant. Gordon, <laughs> you booked it. And I was like, oh, oh, oh my god. And he just started crying right away. <laughs> when Guy Wintio landed the role of Katara, she did the same thing. Just immediately fell into my hands, yeah. bawling my eyes out. My parents were crying. We were all just a mess. It was something that she'd never forget. After all, she's been a fan of the original show for most of her life. Just like Paul Sun Hyung Lee, who got to play Uncle Iroh. And I yelled. I was so ecstatic, and I totally forgot that it was a full parking lot of people, and they all looked at me. Everyone got so worried that the actor had to assure them that he just got amazing news. Things didn't end then and there for Paul. Coming to the set for his first day, he felt overwhelmed once again. I cried. I like Cinderella going to the ball for the first time. It was an insane feeling to see himself as the character. Oh my god, it's Iroh standing in front of me. I'm him. Daniel Day Kim understands the feeling. The actor remembers how everyone else reacted to seeing his full Ozai look for the first time. I remember walking onto set and people were naturally kind of getting out of my way. Everyone just lost their tongues. I would hear the occasional, whoa, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> you know. It certainly helped Daniel feel more like his character, the intimidating and ruthless Fire Lord. One of his co-stars was especially scared of him on the set. Very large chest, <laughs> perfect cheekbones and jawline, right. biceps that are about to break those bands on his arms. <laughs> so when Dallas Liu filmed the Agni Kai scene with Daniel, he didn't really need to act. Him with his shirt off, you know, <laughs> acting like he's gonna punch you in the face is enough for me to get into character. <laughs> But at the same time, the actor didn't scare his fans that much. In fact, some had an opposite reaction. I'm interested in unhinging my jaw and consuming Daniel Day Kim. Gee, Daniel wasn't too impressed. Being eaten alive isn't my idea of a great time, but thank you. And another fan reaction to Ozai made us realize why Daniel got the role. I would gladly hand over the Four Nations to this man. <laughs> See, that's the idea. That's why they cast me. But the actor is humble enough to shift the attention to his co-star. I want Uncle Iroh to have a shirtless scene. Oh man, <laughs> you can see that. Well, it's not something impossible. Because even in the animated series, he had a few of those. You should take your teacher's advice and relax a little. And do you remember how Iroh got ripped while in prison? I'm actually looking forward to yeah, putting on that green t-shirt and having them digitally add some muscles in. <laughs> Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing that, too. Meanwhile, let's go back to the young cast of The Last Airbender. <laughs> Dallas was very committed to playing Zuko as perfectly as he could. He even contacted Dante Basco, who voiced the character in the animated series to get a blessing from him. And now the young actor can copy his voice. Hello, Zuko here. Hello, Zuko here. Oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He totally nailed it! And Dallas isn't the only one who got to meet the voice actor from the OG. Ian Ousley also got to practice some of his lines with Jack DeSena, who voiced Sokka. There's like so much pressure, like can you believe you this pressure? It. Okay. But his duo with Jack and Dallas's with Dante proved pretty good. My, My first, first girlfriend, girlfriend turned into the moon. That's, That's rough, buddy. While Gordon didn't meet Zack Tyler Eisen, who voiced Aang, he still got a message from him. I hope that you were able to have as much fun as I did in playing him. And we have to say that he was thrilled. It's him! It's Aang! Anyway, all of the Avatar actors felt a certain amount of pressure. And it's not only because they had to bring the all-beloved characters to life. 
Even their first day on the set was huge. At least for Gordon, Ian, and Guy Wanteo, whose first scene was Sokka and Katara finding Aang. No biggie. Not a big scene or anything to start out. <laughs> yeah, like, no biggie. They're yeah. throwing you guys in. Yeah, yeah like, no warm up. You yeah. guys are ready. <laughs> but in fact, they were ready for filming. Ian, for example, did his best and more for the scene. Do some push ups. Like, you want to really seem like you're out of breath. So I did like 150 push ups oh that day. Like it wasn't the only time Ian had to give his 100% and more. Here's the day that he remembers the best from filming. Eight people left on set straight up. <laughs> One guy holding like a tennis ball way up here. Didn't seem like too hard of scene because all he had to do was scream. And I was just like screaming my heart out and everyone was so tired because I was like, ah! But turned out it wasn't enough. And then they would be like, okay, um, what do you, what do you think? Yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> and then it was like that like eight times. I wonder if Ian could even speak speak at the end of that day. But he does remember it mostly positively. <laughs> this is movie magic right here. Yeah. It's just eight guys and a tennis ball. Yeah, movie magic is everything. For Gordon, it's also weird to see the end result and recall what it took to film the scene. With visual effects, I can't even remember where I was. <laughs> the character who needed some of the most CGI was certainly Appa. The Sky Bison looked awesome in the series, but not so much on the set. Faceless, legless <laughs> Appa. <laughs> the top I've upper portion stories. of him without the bottom. Sometimes there was even less of him. With the one leg that we have to do scenes do sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but it was perfect for the scenes where someone had to hug Appa. He's so huge that it was enough to only hug one leg. Plus, this animal is so cool that most of the cast would like to have this kind of pet in real life. You'd be crazy not to say, um, Flying bison. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> flying through the sky Love. to go to 7 Eleven. Convenient, huh? On another note, let's see what elements the actors would like to bend in real life. Ian's answer gives some major Sokka vibes. I'm gonna have to go with water so I can give all my enemies wet socks all the time. But his answer about the least favorite element definitely shocked Gordon. Definitely air is least. Least by far. Because it's just. Huh? Me. Yeah. He couldn't believe his ears. Okay. Have you not seen what Aang does with that stuff? Where your homies at? Savage. And Ian isn't the only one who doesn't like air. The element that I would also like least um, to, to bend would have to be air as well. Mm -hmm. I'm, I think I'm on the same page with Ian. All because air bending doesn't look cool to him. Aang's like, ah! right? And I'm just like, Oh my God. Taking it all in. Ah, uh, the look on Gordon's face. It's like he's questioning all his life choices. And first of all, why is he even in the same room with those people? My least favorites can be water because oh. I'm mad at you. What a cool group dynamic they have. Finally, let's talk about the star who didn't appear in the last Airbender series but had a hand in promoting it. It was Serena Williams, aka the biggest fan of the OG. They were like, do you want to do this? And I was like, um, yeah, I'm obsessed with the show. Her self-confidence is everything. I'm the Avatar. I can do it all. And if Serena entering her Avatar state was a surprise for you, imagine the reaction of the show cast. In fact, you don't have to imagine. Oh, Yo! No! Oh, oh, Soleil! Dude, your form's pretty good. I... They were completely starstruck. Dude, she knows who we are. Yeah, that's insane. I can't even like wrap my head around that. Must have felt wild. Have you already watched the live action series? Share in the comments below what you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then watch our other video to learn more about the show's cast.